Hello viewers, Elements 118, and it's time once again for some World of Tanks in the Strange series. In this replay, which I played in the Firefly recently, it's not about me. It is in fact about the IS-3 that has just written in the chat, chance to win? Question mark. Now I'm not sure exactly what, what is going on here. The Crusader SP says 0% for you. The Rudy says 60%, he probably has XVM installed. And, um... The IS-3... I'm going to tell you what he's going to do now. He is going to... Camp. But not as you might expect. When I say camp, you might expect him to stay in the G7, G8 sort of area. He is put in the chat, however, OK, you no need me, bye. He is going to camp in K0 for the whole of the game. Me, meanwhile, I'm driving over to A0 area. There's a T32 following me, and we're going to run into virtually all of the tier 8 heavy tanks on the enemy team and um, we're gonna die pretty quickly but watch that IS-3 you can see him down there in K0 with the Crusader SPs just keep an eye on him because he's not going to move very much I came up here, took a peek around, see if I could see anything. Nothing's up here yet. You can see on the minimap the T-32's just behind me. Mainly waiting for him. There's an IS-3, enemy IS-3 that's been spotted moving around. He's already taken a hit from, I think it's a T-29 we've got down there. But that IS-3 is just the start. Wait until you see what else. There, there's the first. There's a T-150. That's not the problem. And just wait. IS-3, by the way, is still in K-0. We'll see more of them towards the end. T-150 popped back up again. There's the IS-3. There's a T-34. And there's another IS-3. And a KV-5. <laughs> and I'm taking a hit from something. I decide I'm, I'm, I'm not going to have any chance at saving that um, T-32's life. I'm getting the hell out of here. Taking speculative shots at the Centurion on my way down. But what's going to happen to me is inevitable. The T-32 has already gone. It's only a matter of time. I can only run so far in the Firefly. It's not a fast vehicle. Well, it's not particularly fast, anyway. It's faster than a heavy tank, but it's not a fast medium tank, like the A-43. I have no idea why my crew said that that was a great shot. Clearly wasn't, since it bounced off the IS-3. <laughs> anyway, we're going to switch in a moment into the post-mortem view. To the IS-3. Took me quite a while to actually get to him. He is still camping. He is now actually moved to J0, um, which is, you know, it's progress, a step in the right direction, but uh, he's not going to move any further forward. There he is. And for some weird reason, he has managed to get his ammo rack damaged while camping at the back of the map. <laughs> How is that possible? He's lost some health, and he's just completely annoying this Crusader SP. You can see the Crusader SP in chat.
But this IS-3 is not going to give up. He's going to continue to annoy and put the aim off of this Crusader SP. With four tier 8 heavy tanks approaching from the north. And the IS-3 is going to pay absolutely no attention to any of them whatsoever. Which means the uh, defence of the base lies entirely in the hands of a Rudy. Which is not ideal. I thought the Crusader SP was going to drown himself at this point from sheer anger at this IS-3. But the IS-3 continues to drive into the Crusader SP, which is now taking damage. And you can see he's paying no attention, this IS-3, to all of those enemy heavy tanks. The Crusader SP has drowned himself, and the IS-3 follows. I have no idea what provoked the IS-3 to camp at the back of the map here. He, th he obviously thought, because the Rudy said there was a 60% chance to win, and assuming that the Rudy does have XVM installed and it's a correct figure, the IS-3 obviously decided that he wasn't needed in the team which is obviously wrong, um, although if he hadn't have been doing what he was doing at the back of the map there's nothing to say that the outcome of this battle would have been every, any different um, since all of the enemy tier 8 heavy tanks came around one flank. It's no surprise to tell you really that we lost that battle um, it's quite obvious when you look at it and um, yeah, I hope this doesn't happen to you, viewers. <laughs> I would usually say I hope you enjoyed watching, but uh, I hope you didn't enjoy watching. Uh, anyway, good luck on the battlefield. Hope you don't get anything like this. And I'll see you next time.